Hey YouTube, Kayak DIY here, and in this quick little video, we're gonna go over how to make your own waterproof battery box. So if you have a lot of electronics that you need to power on your kayak, this is a video you're gonna wanna watch. So let's get started. Right here we have a waterproof container. Uh, you can find this exact one linked in our video description below. And if we open it up, Right here we just have foam Nerf pieces and that's just to help brace the battery inside the container. If we remove these foam pieces, we'll get a better look at what makes up this container here. So here we are using a UPG brand battery, which we've actually had a lot of good luck with. We got those connectors right there. We got the SAE connector coming off of coming off the terminals. And then we have it going into a switch. And then out into here. So the only uh, part that's connected into the switch is the positive. The positive wire. The white wire doesn't even go through the switch just so you guys are familiar with how the switch works. The switch just has two connections. So it just opens and closes the circuit of the red positive wire. And this is a waterproof switch. I will have that linked in the video description below as well. Then we have it go into what's called a gland here, cable gland, and this allows a watertight seal to be made around a cable. So very very handy you'll see us use these in a lot of other videos um, you can get them in stainless steel and you can get them in uh, a plastic uh, composite material here is an example of a plastic water gland so that's a plastic water cable gland we are using the PG7 one and those are linked in the video description below as well just to make it easy for you then we have it go into an SAE connector again. Now you're thinking, well, what if I have more than one item I want to connect to, you know, the battery? What do what I do? And we have a good solution for that. So what we did is we actually ended up getting one of these. So this allows you to plug this end into here and then you end up with four more connections. And you're thinking, well, these probably aren't incredibly water resistant. Well, the 12 volt battery is not inherently dangerous. It's not like it, uh, your wall outlets when water comes in contact. It's not going to electrocute anything. Um, it's gonna take the path of the least resistance and stuff. So it's gonna go through these cables. I mean, these are the same style cables kind of that you would expect on trailer hitches, uh, which, I mean, get a lot of a lot of moisture and stuff to them. So these are, these are pretty good connections to be using. Um, there are ones that are, you know, they have a seal around them. So, I mean, you can, you can find ones that are truly waterproof, but we have had no issues with this and we'll have this in the video description below as well for you just to make this an easy build but there you have it that's kind of just a look at how to have power while on the water hope you enjoyed this video and like and subscribe and check out our facebook pages as well enjoy